Hey guys, Martek here. Thank you for joining me. Today I've been playing around with rope mats, trying to turn them into key fobs. So today's project is the result of that play. We have a simple project that looks quite nice. Our project is based on the Carrick mat, which is essentially a three-part four-byte Turk's head. The other two knots here are the lanyard knot and a multi-strand gaucho knot. Let's do this. As far as supplies go, we're going to need two pieces of Paracord 550. One piece is going to be the short one, 3 feet long, which is going to tie one pass of our mat, plus the lanyard knot. The long cord is going to be 5 feet long, and it will tie one pass of our mat, plus the multi-strand gaucho knot. Next, you're going to need a curing. A lacing needle is highly recommended, but not essential. And finally, scissors and a lighter. To start off, we're going to tie a flat knot. Take the shorter out of your two cords, so this one is 3 feet long. Move about a foot into your cord, then form a loop. Pass over your loop, like this, forming a second loop. With your working hand, pass under the standing hand, like this. Then, we're going to split a few pairs, going over, under, over, under. So over, under, over, under. Tighten up your knot a little bit, so that it looks even. Make sure that these two ends here are of equal length. Then, take your second cord, follow one of the ends through the knot on the inner side, doubling up your knot. So like this, the knot is doubled up. Again, make sure that these two ends here are of equal length. Our flat knot is ready. You may want to tighten it up a bit. It should look something like this.
Next, we are going to tie a lanyard knot using the two outer strands. So place the two inner ones out of the way, create a loop with your left end, pass the right end under the loop, like this, then using your right end Pass over the stop strand, under the left end, then weave over, under, over. So over, under, over. Tying a Keurig band. Take the top right end, pass it over this strand, then through the center of the Keurig band, so through the diamond shape at the center. Take the bottom left end, pass it over this top right strand, then again through the center of the Keurig band. Tighten up a bit, squaring up your knot. Now before you tighten it up, take the two long ends, pass them through the center of the Keurig band as well. So like this. Then tighten up your knot. about this distance away from our flat mat. So we pull in one of the ends here, go through the knot, into one of the ends, then the other end, pull it in, go through the knot, into the other end. So the lanyard knot. I'm going to re-tighten it one more time, then we're going to continue. We're going to continue by installing our hardware, so the keyring, as well as setting up everything needed to tie our fancy knot. So first, fold over the two long ends around your keyring, like this, so trapping it into place. Place the two shorter ends next to the long ends as well. I recommend that you secure this part here next to the curing with a piece of thread. We can now tie our fancy knot. To make things a bit easier to see, I've covered this part with a piece of paper. You don't have to do this. Take your two ends, wrap them around two times. So once, twice. Take your first end, 
So the one on the left. Pass under over. Under over. Take the other end. So the right one. Pass under your first end. So under the left end. Then continue. Over. Under. Over. So with that, our two ends should be on the left. Each went under over under over. Take one of the ends. Remember that we finished by going over. Pass it under the other end. Essentially going under one. Now follow the strand on the left. So this one and do what it does. So under, over, under, over. The other end finishes over two. Then we pass under this end. So under one, then follow the strand on the left. So over one, under one. Then over on the right. From the right side, we have only one more sequence to do. Take one of the strands, pass under two, like this, then over two. Under two. Over two on the left. Take the other end again. Under two. Then over two. Under two. Over two here on the left. With that we have tied our knot. To finish up the ends, remember we passed over two, then go under the entire knot to the right. So over two, then under the knot, all the way to the right. The other end, exactly the same way. Over two, then under the knot to the right. So over two, then under all the way to the right. So now our knot is ready to be tightened up. I'm going to remove my piece of thread as well as this piece of paper. To tighten up your knot, what we're going to do is start here with the strands which are going over our key ring. Pull one in, go through the knot,
fold the slack into one of the ends. Then do the other strand exactly the same way. So the one coming over the curing, pull it into your knot, through the knot, into one of the ends. So this was one pass of tightening. I'm going to do one to two more. When you're happy with the look of your knot, you can do one more optional step. Take these two ends, attach a lacing needle onto one of them, pass your cord through the center of the lanyard knot. Do the same thing with the other end. So right through the center of the lanyard knot. Trim your four ends. Melt them in place and you are done. So guys, that's our project for today. Thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you next time as well.